Back and we're going to talk about something called Life Log. And this is a story that's kind of hard to find on YouTube, so we're going to put something up on YouTube and see if they take it down. Um, this is an article from February 2004, and people may know about DARPA uh, Defense Research Project. I forget how, what the acronym means, but it's where the defense industry spends a lot of its research, some of its research money. So, uh, November, excuse me, February 2004, they killed their life lo log project, life log, they turned it off. And coincidentally, that is the same month that Facebook started. So I'm going to read a uh, description, Fe that's February 2004. I'm going to read a description of um, life log, the Pentagon's life log, and you tell me what it sounds like. So uh, reading directly from uh, this article by the usually unreliable news outlet wired, but sometimes they get things right by accident. Um, the Pentagon canceled its so-called LifeLog project, an ambitious effort to build a database tracking a person's entire existence. Run by DARPA, the Defense Department's research arm, LifeLog aimed to gather in a single place just about everything an individual says, sees, or does. The phone calls made, the TV shows watched, the magazines read. The Pentagon canceled its so-called LifeLog project, an ambitious effort to build a database tracking a person's entire existence. Run by DARPA, the Defense Department's research arm, LifeLog aimed to gather in a single place just about everything an individual says, sees, or does, the phone calls made, the TV shows watched, the magazines read, the plane tickets bought, the emails sent and received. Out of this seemingly endless ocean of information, computer scientists would plot distinctive routes in the data, mapping relationships, memories, events, and experiences. LifeLog's backers said the all-encompassing diary would have turned into a near-perfect digital memory, giving its users computerized assistance with an almost flawless recall of what they have done in the past. I'm going to insert here, I mean, obviously this was a surveillance device, uh, not meant as a service to humanity, but civil libertarians immediately pounced on the project when it debuted last spring, arguing that LifeLog could become the ultimate tool for profiling potential enemies of the state. So they didn't just wake up in February and close it. They had a lot of conversation about closing it. And uh, they closed it in February. And again, I want to tell you that that is the same month and same year that Facebook, the company that actually does everything that this Defense Department uh, LifeLog project wanted to do, Facebook does it especially since people now live on their cell phones. So all their communication, everything they read, everything they watch, and of course if they're buying things uh, through their smartphone, all that's, which, which many people are now, all that's getting canceled. Researchers close to the project say they're not sure why it was dropped last month. DARPA hasn't provided an explanation for LifeLog's quiet cancellation. Quote, a change in priorities is the only ration, was the only rationale agency spokesman Jan Walker gave to Wired News. So let's look at this. You know, the Pentagon and every other thieving bureaucracy uh, that's part of the federal government never cancels a program. I mean, they just, they just keep rolling it on and just, to, you know, the big money suck. And why would you cancel something that you were getting money for? The idea that uh, there was a change in priorities, well, they have limitless money. They just waste money on anything that occurs to them. So here they have something that, you know, it's kind of rolling along. People are building careers on it. People are siphoning off money from it. Why would you stop it? Maybe you'd stop it because it was drawing too much heat, and you would hold on to it until you found a way to do it without the, the heat. Maybe you'd put some doofusy guy uh, in charge uh, and give him a free field to, to grow it uh, huge, which clearly uh, is what happened with Facebook. LifeLog is, a, is the latest in a series of controversial programs that have been canceled by DARPA in recent months. The Terrorism Information Awareness, or TAI, data mining initiative was eliminated by Congress, although many believe its research continues on the classified side of the Pentagon's ledger. Yeah, you better believe it does. Uh, the policy analysis market, 
uh, map, uh, policy, policy analysis market or future map, which provided a stock market of sorts for people to bet <laughs> on terror strikes was almost immediately withdrawn after its details came to light in July. Um, I've always thought LifeLog would be the third program after TIA and FutureMap that could raise eyebrows if they didn't make it clear how privacy concerns would be met, said Peter Harsha, Director of Government Affairs for Computer Research Associates. DARP is pretty gun-shy now, added Li Tian with the cover group, I had inserted that, Electronic Frontier Foundation, which has been critical of many agency efforts. They're never critical of uh, big corporation efforts, though. After TIA, they discovered uh, they weren't ready to deal with the firestorm of criticism. That's too bad, artificial intelligence researchers say. LifeLog would have addressed one of the key issues in developing computers that can think how to take the unstructured mess of life and recall it as discrete episodes, a trip to Washington, a sushi dinner, construction of a house. Obviously, we're quite disappointed, said Howard Strobe, who led a team from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, which spent weeks preparing a bid for a LifeLog contract. We were very interested in the research focus of the program, how to help a person capture, how to help. I love how they want to help us all the time. A person capture and organize his or her experiences. This is a theme of great importance to both AI and cognitive science. Um, and on and on it goes. So, looks like MIT was involved in this quite a bit. And, of course, MIT is literally just across the river from Harvard. And just to repeat, the same month that this spy tool posing as a useful utility to make life more pleasant and helpful um, was canceled is the same month that uh, a enterprise identical in every way um, which was given every single conceivable assistance uh, was created uh, in the private sector so anyway it's called lifelog if you never heard of it now you have and um, this, believe it or not, is the first coherent video about this on the Internet. We'll see how long uh, it lasts.